Dr. Shah, explain why um, the biomarkers that you did for Leslie's blood are crucial, especially to help people prevent disease. And I know that you know, the bio, biomarkers that I'm familiar with, for example, if someone has a certain type of cancer and they were treated, we follow biomarkers to see if there's any further cancer cell activation, for example. Um, but when we're talking general biomarkers, tell me a little bit about that. Right. So what Leslie had done is what we call our baseline blood test. And this is a collection of about a dozen or so what we feel are very critical biomarkers to measure not only progression to disease and diagnosing disease, but also to help you prevent and lead a healthy lifestyle so you never get there in the first place. So these are very simple biomarkers that almost all physicians have access to. All patients have access just by asking their physician and your insurance should cover these. All it takes is just asking. And we really encourage our patients like Leslie, become the CEO of your own health by understanding just a dozen of so of these of these biomarkers and know what it means when they kind of get out of range. Because sometimes when you see them even mildly deficient, like on Leslie, you're diagnosing disease sometimes 10, 20 years before you get symptoms. And that's important because, you know, once you get symptoms, now all of a sudden you have to treat it with medicine, surgery, et cetera. And we can prevent a lot of this stuff, but, you know, symptoms occur so late. So it's important to check your blood work sooner rather than later. Tell us a little further, Dr. Shaw, about the specific blood biomarkers that test for sugar intake. Tell us why this is so important. The hemoglobin A1C is about a two to three month average of your sugar and carbohydrate intake over the last two to three months. And what that tells us, if it's too high, if it's marching towards like a sixth level, for example, is you're slowly getting insulin resistance, which is then leads to, as you know, diabetes, heart disease, brain disease, et cetera. But how useful is it to learn this way ahead of time, 10 to 20 years before you get diabetes, so you can cut back on your sugar intake? Gotcha. All right. Dr. Shaw, tell us why testing for both vitamin B12 and vitamin D are particularly important. Absolutely. Well, B12 is a critical uh, vitamin in our body. It's used for DNA synthesis, synthesizing red blood cells. You can get anemic if you don't have enough B12 in your diet. And unfortunately, our diets nowadays just don't have the nutritional content that they used to. So a lot of people are low on these nutritional um, vitamins and we can supplement them or increase our dietary intake. Vitamin D has been a huge problem, especially with COVID because we're all inside all the time and we don't get that sunlight to help us convert vitamin D to its active form. And vitamin D is almost like a hormone. It affects thousands of biological processes. And I can't tell you the number of patients we've seen just getting their vitamin levels right. They just feel instantaneously better.